Hello everyone and welcome to episode 42 of the Group IMN series. In the last episode we finished it off getting 300 Gauntlet KC and making the Crystal Legs. It was very nice to do, but we also ended off getting a Weapon Seed. Just to update the collection log for you guys on the Gauntlet side of things, we are now up to 4 Weapon Seeds. I got the 5th from Alonescape to make the Crystal Body. 9 Weapon Seeds. I think I said Weapon Seeds here, but Armor Seeds. And we have zero enhanced weapon seeds. Looks like uh, this guy just got himself a weapon seed. So the curse is real. We did get the pet also, I think, in our first gauntlet video, or maybe the second. And if you guys want to go ahead and see, I am up to 301 completions. We ended off with 300. I actually have a chest I'm about to loot and only 33 deaths. I'm actually very, very happy with that score. But as I said, I did just complete a run and we did technically get a weapon seed in the last kill. So maybe we can get a back to back. Unfortunately nothing, but I really want to finish the gauntlet in this episode. That means one enhanced weapon seed and one crystal helmet. I know I did say once I get the crystal helmet I will go ahead and run some inferno attempts. And I still might do that, uh, depending on what you guys want and depending on how I'm feeling. But the whole idea is kind of interesting. The reason I say that, I don't mind doing an inferno with just a crystal bow and full crystal armor. But after I finish the Inferno, I'm probably just going to end up coming back to the Gauntlet because the Bow of Herodine is something I really want at the moment. So uh, I'm going to put a very, very big effort into getting the Bow of Herodine in this episode, doing a lot of Gauntlet. My back is feeling much, much better now. I don't think it'll be a problem. Hopefully it's not a problem now in the future, uh, but we'll see. Anyway, let's get back into the Gauntlet. Okay, starting the grind up up to 310 KC. Are we going to get anything here? Nothing so far, but let's keep going. Oh no, KC319, Crystal Weapon Seed. If we go to the collection log, that is the 10th Crystal Weapon Seed. That is not fun. Okay, KC320, we got a Weapon Seed last KC. Can we get an enhanced one this time? We cannot. KC330, are we going to get anything here? I hope we are. We are not, unfortunately. At this point I decided to start live streaming the gauntlet as it's a lot more enjoyable to talk to people in the stream than just doing gauntlet by myself. If you're interested in catching some of my live streams, the link to my Twitch is in the description. 350 KC, here we are. Are we lucky on KC350? Unfortunately we are not. Looks like we might not get anything. I streamed for a while and unfortunately I got nothing while streaming. I'm up to 370 KC now and we are very very close to that 400 KC which we will get this episode unless I magically complete the gauntlet before 400 KC. Yeah, it looks like I am going to get 400 KC without getting the enhanced weapon seed. Yep, it definitely looks like that's the case. 375 KC and I'm probably about to start streaming again. We'll most likely get 400 KC on stream. Are we getting any luck here? Unfortunately, no luck here either. So yeah, I'm probably going to start streaming now and I really hope in the next 25 KC you can at least get an armor seed and getting the enhanced within the first 400 KC would feel very good as well. But at this rate, it's not looking very good. What am I going to get? KC 387? Welp, that's not what I want. We got something, but that is not what I am looking for, man. That is the 11th weapon seed, man. That is the wrong drop. That's big. No, 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 no. That's not the, that's not the run. That's the uh, bad one. I'll go ahead and show you the log. I like I said I was going to. That is not the one you're looking for. What does that give you? I'm not even joking. Absolutely nothing. Basically, it's crystal shards. It'll give you like 10 crystal shards. So this is the log currently. I've gotten the pet, which you might think, oh, wow, I have the pet. That's awesome. Uh, but no, the pet's not good. Uh, four armor seeds. The rate is 1 in 50, and I've gotten 4 in 387 KC. 11 weapon seeds. Terrible. And then 0 enhanced. This game is not like me, that's all I have to say. This guy got an armor seat as well, what? So after that on stream, I decided to try something different because clearly what I was doing wasn't working, so I decided to knock out some of the combat achievements. There it is, the Corrupted Warrior Combat Achievement. Are we gonna get also a reward for getting that combat achievement? Unfortunately we are not. There it is, Wolf Plunger 2. Will I be rewarded for that? Unfortunately, no. Grandmaster Combat Achievement. 
Egg Neal Diet 2. Will I get rewarded for completing that combat achievement? Unfortunately, no. After completing that combat achievement, I decided to stop streaming for now. It was getting very frustrating going as dry as I was, and there wasn't much for combat achievements left to do. As you can see, I have 8 out of 11 of the tasks completed, and the only tasks I have remaining benefit from me having higher stats, which is using no armor, and then two speedrunning challenges, so I'm going to wait until I have higher stats to do those. 395 gauntlet KC, but as you can see, I'm running to the bank right now. The reason is, if you actually uh, check, I made a joke, uh, noticed that I'd trade the Ancient Dehyde body for the Sarah Dehyde boots, because if we scroll up even more, he actually just got Sarah Dehyde boots. Uh, I was mainly joking, but he said deal, and he said he already put them in the shared. He might already have DI boots, and I actually don't have a use for the Ancient DI top anymore, as I already have the crystal body. It's just better pretty much all the way around, so I'm going to go ahead and make that exchange. There we are. We went ahead and put our Ancient DI body in shared. I'm going to go ahead and take out the Sarah DI boots now, which is actually going to be a DPS upgrade. There we are. 400 KC, the exact drop rate of the Enhanced Weapon Seed. I've only gotten 4 armor seeds, 0 enhanced, 11 weapon seeds, a pet, 63% chance to get the enhanced weapon seed within the 400 KC I did not, and it's like an 86.5% chance of getting 5 armor seeds I did not. Unless I get it here, what is this chest going to contain? Unfortunate. So, we are officially dry on the enhanced weapon seed, and we are double drop rate on the armor seed, and just to show it off, even though I feel like I've been showing it off quite often, here is the proof. Very, very unfortunate. Not much more to say. I guess I just have to keep grinding. Uh, there's only one way to get the drop, and that is to continue going. But I've said it before, and I'll say it again. It really, really does suck to go dry. Another weekly Tears of Gothics. This should still go on runecrafting. I'm not sure if it'll get me a level this time. It is not. I think I'm just going to train this. I know my group is focusing a lot on total levels, because we're quite high in high scores, so 1k XP, that shouldn't be too bad. And there we are, 52 rune crafting, which now puts us up to 1809 total level. Nice. And now I am back at the Corrupted Gauntlet, up to 405 KC. What is this chest going to contain? Unfortunately, nothing new so far. 410 KC now. Are we going to get anything here? Looks like we are not. I think I'm going to start streaming again. Streaming motivates me to continue going. It really is a lot of fun. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and start streaming. Alright, 418. Maybe. Oh, oh, I thought I got something. Oh, I thought I got it. I got debated. No. All right. KC 420. Someone called it. Is it it? Oh, I thought. Oh, we got an armor seed though. Yeah, that's big. That's good. That's good. All right. As you saw, we got ourselves the crystal armor seed. That means we can finally make the last piece of crystal armor. And there we are. We now have a crystal helm, a crystal body and crystal legs. So we now can use the Crystal Bow and the Bow of Faradinan and have insane good stats while doing it. Obviously, I do not have a Bow of Faradinan, so I'm going to continue grinding to get that Bow of Faradinan. And I can only use the Crystal Bow of this. I did say earlier that I'm probably not going to do the Inferno until I probably have the Bow of Faradinan. Because if I do the Inferno with this setup and get the Inferno Cape, I'm probably going right back into the Gauntlet. So... I'm probably going to continue grinding and hopefully get the Bow of Faradinan soon. Uh, it's the only drop I need now, but it is the rarest drop, a 1 in 400, so let's hope for some good luck. AC 421. Oh, we actually got a back-to-back -back armor seed, wow. Oh, there's all the armor seeds. As you saw, that stream was a massive success. Not only did we get two weapon seeds, which is not a success, but we got two armor seeds. Which means now, if we just go ahead and check the collection log here, go into the gauntlet. We've actually completed crystal armor all by myself. Obviously, I did get an extra one from alone, so I just put that back in shared storage for the next guy to do the gauntlet or something like that. 13 armor seeds, 6, ar uh, six armor seeds, 13 weapon seeds, definitely not a good ratio there. And 0 enhanced seeds, even worse. I am up to 440kc now, so let's see what we get from this. Unfortunately, nothing, but I am going to keep grinding. I'm thinking I'll probably get 500 KC for this episode. That is quite a bit. We started with 300, so an extra 200 KC added on to that. If, obviously, if I just get the Enhanced Seed, I'll stop there, but it's, it's not looking very good. 60 more KC is a good chance of it, but we'll see. 450 KC now, 50 KC away from the 500 for the goal of this video. Oh, we got it! We got it! That's it! That's the one! I got it! Yes! 
Oh my god! 450kc! We got it! Oh my god, I thought I got a normal one here. Oh my god, we got it. Yes! Oh my god. I'm glad I got a live reaction. Oh my god, he just said it in the chat. Inferno time. It's Inferno time, guys. Oh. Oh my god, that is the most excited drop I've ever been on. Like, even RuneScape. Oh my god, I got a TiVo before it and I've never been as excited. Oh my god. I'm like shaking. Now that I have calmed down from that reaction, I am here at the Blast Furnace, because in order to make that Enhanced Crystal Weapon Seed into a Boa Ferradin, I actually need 82 smithing. And as you can see, I'm very close to 74, and what I'm going to do is get all the way up to 77, and then use a stew boost to plus 5 to 82. I do also need 82 crafting, but that is easy with just a pie, and I have plenty of pies, so that is no problem at 79. So. I have all the gold ore thanks to Dark World Order. I just traded him the cash for the gold ore. So let's get to smithing. I have about 7,000 gold ore I have to use. And for those curious, here is the loot I got from the gauntlet. It ended up being 500 loots because I had to loot the deaths as well. So 50 deaths, 450 completions. Not too bad. Very, very, very happy I got that. And there we are after this XP drop. We now have 77 smithing. That means if we go to Prifinus and get that plus 5 boost off of orange spices, we can now make our Boa Ferradine in. So I'll have to bring everything to make the Boa Ferradine in, the stews, and the make sure I bring the mushroom pies in my inventory, and let's see if we can get this boost. Alright, I got the boost. I had to go all the way over here. I even got the crafting boost. Oh, I hope I can make it in time. I just got the boost, so I should be fine. Oh, if I miss this boost, I'm going to be a little upset. I think I got it in like my fourth or fifth try. Okay, Boa Ferradine in. Let's make sure we corrupt it. Sing. Sing. Oh no, it went down. Well, we made the bow, but now we have to uh, get the boost again. Oh no. Okay, I got the boost again, but I had to relog. So if we go in here, we can now... Oh, we need that. Yep. Yes, corrupt. Okay, we had to go through like a warning message, but there it is. We now have a corrupted bow of Ferradinen. It is red, and I think I'm going to keep it red for now. I know you can change the colors by like buying some crystals, I think, from this person here. But that is awesome. Let's go and put on full crystal and show this thing off. And here is the stats for my best slot setup for range. Obviously, I do not have the English right now. Currently, I think Alonscape has it, as he has had the bow of Ferradinen for a long time now, so it makes sense that he would hold on to it. But with that, I would get five more range bonus, so 228 range, and then the melee strength would go, or the range strength would go all the way up to 113. So that is amazing. That feels like a very good place to end off this video. I feel so relieved now that I got the Boa Ferradinen. And now that I have this, you guys might know what this means. In the next episode, we will be taking on the Inferno. If you guys want to see me take on the Inferno live right after this video drops, I will be live doing Inferno attempts on my Twitch, which is in the description. So feel free to check it out, and I'll see you guys there.